All right, so what we're going to actually be doing, this is actually somebody who sprained their ankle uh, playing hockey nine weeks ago, correct? Nine weeks ago. Uh, the vector of injury actually was ca catching behind himself and actually going backwards. So he created the vector of an inversion sprain by actually falling backwards, catching his toe behind himself. So at this point, really a lot of the acute inflammation and swelling has gone down, but we're still having some problems with the ankle mortis joint. We're going to give him a tape job associated with stability for that ankle mortis and subtalar joint using four strips of kinesiology tape. The first strip that we're going to do is going to be associated with the talus and the ankle mortis. So we're going to put that foot up into a neutral uh, position, neutral talus position. What we did is we split the tape right in the middle. And the easiest way of manipulating the tape once you've done that split in the middle is with your first finger and your second finger, you're going to grab the backing. And with your thumb and your first finger, you're going to grab the tape and the backing together. Now, we're going to just place that right onto the back of his foot and just create some tension on there, make sure it's going to stick. Now, taking one tail at a time, Using our exact stretch indicators, we want to make sure we get this over that 50%. We can use the thumb to make sure we don't get any wrinkles. And then it's paper off tension right at the end there to make sure we don't create a compressive load that may compromise the vascular. Same thing on the other side. Come right across and then paper off the rest of the way. Now that's going to be our first strip associated with the ankle mortars helping to lock that in place. With the second strip, we're going to go to the subtalar joint. So we're going to create that same exact vector, except now we're going to go back along the subtalar joint. Same thing, taking that tape, breaking it in the middle. It's really important when you're doing these that you overlap your tape so you always catch some skin. But now we've got that 100% stretch right behind the uh, uh, calcaneus. And then it's paper off tension the rest of the way so that we don't create any compressive load on the Achilles. Same thing, that 100%. And then paper off again, making sure we overlap but getting onto the skin each time. The next one we're going to do is a second strip over the ankle mortis. Giving that 100%. And as you can see, I'm kind of going a little bit more to a superior now. covering up the ankle just a little bit more each time. And then the last one for the subtalar joint. Heavy stretch until you get behind. And just let it go. Heavy stretch. And then just let it go. Now that's going to give a lot of stability to both the sub, uh, subtalar joint as well as the ankle mortis joint. And let's just have our patient stand up on that and see how that feels. Mm -hmm. Good, actually, I just want to take a walk on. Sure, go ahead. Yeah. I don't feel my arch dropping. So now, when I with, walk, I feel my arch dropping. with you, yeah. you're taping yourself. Yeah. You're going to do the same thing that we just showed before, except with your strip, you're going to come here and now with your two hands you can manipulate up and you can ma manipulate underneath. So you're just going to get your foot up into that neutral position and then grab the tape, come underneath the foot, pull it tight, wrap, wrap, underneath, wrap, wrap, okay? And then just keep overlapping it, making sure that the tape always gets to some skin each time you're going around with a new strip, okay? Thanks a lot, man. Not a problem.